Okay, <laughs> so we have u equals 2i plus 8j and v equals negative 2i minus j. And what they're asking us to do is find uh, the angle between the two vectors. So what we looked at, the formula for the angle between two vectors is the cosine of theta equals u dot v, meaning the dot product of u, dot, u and v, over the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. So what I need to do is complete the dot product of u dot v. Now notice when I have them in u dot v, you could rewrite these in, in component form if you wanted to. And you could do the v in component form, which would be negative 2 comma negative 1. You don't have to do that, but sometimes it's a little bit easier because when computing the dot product, we know that the dot product of u dot v is equal to u1 times v1 plus u2 times v2, right? So we need to make sure that we know what u1 is, what u2 is, what v1 is, and what v2 is, all right? All right, so when looking at this problem, now I'm just going to plug in my values. So I have 2 times negative 2 plus 8 times negative 1. So 2 times negative 2 is going to leave me with negative 4 um, minus 8. So negative 4 minus 8 is going to be a negative 12. So therefore, I'm going to have cosine of theta equals negative 12 over, now I need to figure out what the magnitude is of u and v. So let's go ahead and do the magnitude of u first. Magnitude of u is going to be u1 squared plus u2 squared, which equals the square root of 2 squared plus 8 squared which is going to be 4 plus 64, which equals the square root of 68. Now, we can go ahead and simplify that, but um, what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be finding a, we're going to find an approximate answer. So we don't really need to worry so much right now about um, simplifying everything. So we're going to have the square root of 68. Then let's go and find the magnitude of v. So the magnitude of v is going to be v1 squared plus v2 squared which equals v1 is going to be negative 2 squared plus negative 1 squared, which equals 4 plus 1, which equals the square root of 5. Make sense? So therefore, then to find theta, I say theta equals cosine inverse of negative 12 over the square root of 68 times the square root of 5. All right. So when doing this into your calculator, yes? So now when doing this into your calculator, you know, you can simplify your radicals um, for like square root of 68, but it's just not really necessary because you're going to be plugging into your calculator and figuring out what the approximate value is anyway. So I just make sure my degree mode is, and then I just take the square root of 68 times it by the square root of 5, and I just do negative 12 divided by second answer. And therefore, I get a uh, negative 0 0.65079. And I'm just going to take that whole answer, do the inverse cosine. And therefore, the angle between these two is going to be 130.60 degrees. So you, do you know stuff in parentheses? Yeah, I figured, I figured out what all this was, which was theta equals cosine inverse of negative 0 0.6508. OK? And then you take the inverse cosine of it. And then I'll yeah. do one of those. Mm -hmm. Anybody have any questions on that? Mm 